Welcome to the spoken tutorial on getting started with cell designer. In this tutorial, we will learn about cell designer, menu and toolbars in cell designer, different areas in cell designer workspace, components of cell designer which includes species and reactions. We will also learn how to create a simple network, save a network, export an image, how to zoom a network. Cell Designer is a process diagram editor for drawing gene regulatory and biochemical networks. The process diagram was proposed by Kitano. These diagrams are stored using the system's biology markup language. I'm using Windows XP and Cell Designer version 4.3. It works on Linux and Mac OS X also. To open Cell Designer, double click on the shortcut Cell Designer icon on the desktop. This will open Cell Designer window. Now let's explore it. On the menu bar, you can see various menu options like File, Edit, Component, View, Database, and others. Under the main menu, you will see various toolbars. There are toolbars for editing species, reactions, compartments, etc. We will learn about some of them as we go along. Let us learn about the different areas of Cell Designer workspace. As you can see, there are five areas. On the right hand side is the draw area. This is where we would be drawing the networks. Any shape you see on the draw area, for example, rectangle, an oval, or a line segment is called a component. Component is a general term for species, reactions, or a compartment. One can see the list of all these symbols and their meanings from the Cell Designer website, that is www.celldesigner.com. Org. I will click on the documents. Now let us click on the startup guide that is also in another tab. I'll go directly to page number 82. Here you can see various symbols and their meanings. Let us go back to the cell designer window. Below the draw area is the list area. Here one can display and edit the list of components and functions of a model. The notes area is used to display and edit the notes of the component. On the left hand side, there is a tree area which lists the component in a tree structure. Below that is the layer area which displays all the layers of the model. The size of these areas can be changed by dragging the border lines. I will place the cursor on the border line. You can see a double headed arrow. Drag it to maximize or minimize the area. To change the position of list and notes area, go to view option, click on list and select right. It changes list to the right. Down is the default one. Let us go back to the slides. This is the simple network which we will create. In this network, protein A undergoes state transition to protein B under the catalysis of protein C. Protein B in turn undergoes state transition to protein D. This transition is inhibited by protein E. Let us create this network. I will go back to the cell designer window. Now click on file and then new. A small dialog box named as new document will open. This is the name field. I will type simple network here. One can change the height and width as required. 
However, I will keep the default height and width. Click on OK. You see the name appearing on the top left corner of the draw area. Now go to edit and enable grid snap and grid visible. A grid will be visible in the draw area. Grid snap will make the components to align properly with the grid. You can deselect grid visible once the network is complete. Before we begin to add components, let me show you some examples of species and reactions. Let us first see the species. The symbols here are for generic protein, receptor, ion channel, truncated protein, gene, RNA and others. Now let us see the reactions. First is the state transition, heterodimer association, dissociation, catalysis, inhibition, etc. We will select the first icon in species toolbar by clicking on it. This icon is for protein. Click anywhere on the draw area where you want to place this species. I will place it on the left hand side of the draw area. A small dialog box will open and ask for this species name. I will name the new species as A and click on OK. See the change in the list area too. As you can see we have added a new species in the draw area. Similarly I will add B. You are required to select a component before you edit or move it. Click on the component to select them. Make sure that the select icon is on before you do so. I want to place B besides A. So click on B and select it. Drag it and keep it next to A. Now we will see how to change the size of a component. I will click on A. We see small squares on it. These are the handles to change the size. I will keep the cursor on this edge and drag. We see the size of A has changed. There is another way of changing the size of component which we will learn in later tutorial. You can undo the previous actions with Ctrl Z. If you want to redo, press Ctrl Y. Also, you can do this directly by clicking on the icons Undo and Redo. Now, let's add reactions. A reaction is the interaction between two objects. This is a state transition reaction. So I will click on the icon for state transition in the reaction toolbar. Click on any edge of A and then on B. Thus you can see the reaction arrow now joins A and B. The component selected first is considered as the reactant. So always remember to select the reactants first. The default reaction ID comes as RE1. Now let's add species C and keep at appropriate position as shown in the earlier slide. I'm selecting this icon from the reaction toolbar. It is for catalysis. I will click on the edge of C and the square symbol of the state transition reaction. Now I will add species D and place it besides B. Let's add a state transition reaction from B to D. The default reaction ID is RE2. I will add species E. I'll just drag and keep at appropriate position. Now I will select this icon from the reaction toolbar which represents inhibition reaction. I will click on the edge of E and then on the square symbol of the state transition reaction. This will join the two points. We can see the simple network now. Let us save our work. 
go to file click on save as i will name it as simple network this will save our work in xml format click on save now we will learn how to export an image to do this go to file and click on export image you can save your image in various formats like pdf png jpeg etc i will save it as jpeg image and click on save let us see how to zoom the network we have four options for zoom zoom in zoom out zoom fit zoom reset i will click on the zoom in icon twice we can see the magnified image now i will click on the zoom reset icon the network comes back to the original size this brings us to the end of spoken tutorial on getting started with cell designer to summarize we learned about menu and toolbar in cell designer different areas in cell designer components like species and reactions we created a simple network using the species and reaction components also we learned how to zoom save a network and exporting an image as an assignment construct a network with the help of cell designer version 4.3 in this network a and b protein associates to form a complex complex 1 in presence of catalyst protein c this complex gets degraded when catalyst protein d is present you should get a network like this watch the video available at the following link it summarizes the spoken tutorial project if you do not have a good bandwidth you can download and watch it the spoken tutorial project team conducts workshop using spoken tutorials gives certificates to those who pass an online test for more details please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org spoken tutorial project is a part of the talk to a teacher project it is supported by the national mission on education through ict mhrd government of india more information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org/nmeict-intro this is sakina sheik from iit bombay signing off